Hey guys, welcome back. One of the most common questions we get here at the Great Model 8 is, how do the calibers stack up? If you weren't aware, over the course of 44 years of production, Remington offered the Model 8 and the Model 81 in five calibers total. So we've got all five here, all the way from the Sweet Shooting, 25 Remington, all the way to the Bad Boy, the 300 Savage. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take all of these calibers, we're gonna put them all into 32 inches of ballistic gelatin and see how they stack up. So for testing, we're gonna take nothing but either factory loaded ammo or ammo loaded to factory specs, all shooting the biggest bullet you could for the caliber, round nose, soft point bullets. Let's take a closer look at the ammo. Starting off here on the left, first off, the most pleasant of all the calibers to shoot, but also the most uncommon, this is the 25 Remington, shooting 117 grain soft point at 2300 feet per second. Next we have the 30 Remington, which was actually a favorite among law enforcement of the time. Today it's the parent case of the 6.8 SPC. Some of you guys might find that interesting. Uh, this one loaded here is with a 170 grain soft point around 2100 feet per second. Next we have the 32 Remington. This one wasn't as popular as the other calibers. Um, this one here also shoot 170 grain soft point around 2100, 2200 feet per second. And this here is the quintessential Model 8 and 81 caliber. The hard hitting 35 Remington. This one loaded with a 200 grain soft point around 2,000 feet per second. And if you watch some previous videos, this is basically the same load we use to punch through steel. And finally, the heavy hitter, the 300 Savage. Now this was only offered in the Model 81 between 1940 to 1950. This one's loaded with a 180 grain soft point at 2350 feet per second. And a lot of people think at a long recoil, this is a thumper on both ends. All right, first up, we're shooting the 25 Remington. This is a 117 grain soft point at 10 feet. All right, 307, 180 grain soft point, 10 feet. Alright guys, so basically what we just did, we shot two 25s, both of them smoked through 32 inches of the gelatin. I was a little concerned, so I switched up to the 300, and it stopped it. So now we're going to go back to the 30. This is 170 grain soft point, 10 feet. Here we go. In three, two, one. In three, two, all right guys we got a 32 Remington 170 grain soft point again 10 feet three two one three two one all right guys we got a 35 Remington 200 grain soft point at 10 feet All right, guys, that's a real interesting test. Now, I apologize. As soon as this gelatin hit the grass, it got dirty and cloudy, so it might have been kind of hard to see, but I'm going to show you on tape measure uh, how the calibers did. Now, we shot two rounds, 25 Remington. Both of them smoked through this gel. Uh, we didn't recover them. They hit the backstop there. First off, let's just take a look at the uh, 30 Remington went pretty far. It stopped at about 24 inches in gel. Now that's 170 grain saw point. It's compadre, the 32 Remington, shooting the same size bullet, actually went 27.5 inches in gel. Um, the 300 Savage, it actually went the shortest, but it had the most violent wound channel. It went in 19 and a half inches 
And finally, the 35 Remington that's on this side, it's hard to see for y'all, but it went in exactly two feet, 24 inches. So, I'm gonna dig these out and we'll take a look at them and see what they look like uh, laid out. All right, guys, we got all our bullets dug out here. Here's first off of the left. This is the 30 Remington, 170 grain saw point. Um, yeah, did what it's supposed to do. In fact, if you take a look at all these calibers, they all look the same. This is classic textbook round nose soft point expansion. Um, the 32 looks about the same as the 30. The 35 is a little bit more uh, expanded and probably the most out of all of them by far would be the 300 Savage. I don't have calipers to measure, but it is, it's pretty wide. So, um, I think the gist of it is you just maybe need to look at buying all five calibers. Anyways, thanks for watching this, guys. If you want to check out our forums, if you want to learn more about these classic guns, come to thegreatmodelate.net. See you next time.